Dr. David Graff from Animal Care Hospital on Blairs Ferry Road in Cedar Rapids is here. First of all, who do we have here today, David? His name is Seymour. He's about 10 weeks old. He's a neutered male. He's available at the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. And she asked me to tell you that they have a special this month, too kittens for the price of one. Okay, excellent. So if you have enough room in your heart and your home for all of this and Seymour's just just taking it all in, curious, but not uh, doesn't appear too nervous mm -hmm. about the whole situation. So one question did come in from email uh, from a writer in with a, a 10 year old border collie with chatter teeth. And is there anything to, to be concerned with on this? It's very common when especially dogs come in to see us at the veterinary hospital mm -hmm. that they're very nervous. Sure. And, and their teeth will chatter. But mine does uh, as well. Yeah. It, it can be done it, because they're cold or because they're stressed or because they're having anxiety or nervousness. It it's, may not be a, a sign of any health problem. Uh, but when in doubt, have your dog uh, examined by your veterinarian. Mm -hmm. But it, it's, it could just be from nervousness or anxiety. Right, and, we, and you often see that, I'm sure, all the time in the Every office, day. probably with a majority of the <laughs> patients that come on in for it. Now, you also wanted to talk about, especially with cats, to try to keep them from urinating on the floor yes. and prevention for this. Pre preventing your cat from inappropriately eliminating on the floor. Sure. And the first rule is you should have at least one more litter box than cats. So if you have two cats, you should have a minimum of three litter boxes. Okay. Okay, and I recommend the fine granular scoopable litter, unscented, scented litter is a bad idea, an uncovered litter box that's in an accessible place, not near anything noisy like a buzzing dryer mm -hmm. okay. or, or a, a sump pump. Um, a place of peace. A, you need. a place of We're peace. We're not going to be startled. And, and each cat needs its own area to have its own litter box. Okay. So if you've got several, it's good to have them in different places. Sure. Okay. Now, it's also good to keep them very clean, well scooped. Right. And it's good to also provide a lot of toys and playthings. Um, a happy environment is a cat that uses its litter box better. And the food and water should be a long way from the litter box, and each cat needs its own food and water location. Okay, okay. and let me make sure I've got the math right on this. So one more litter box, then, cats. then, you, then you have cats. Right, if you got five cats, you need six litter boxes, minimum. I have an minimum. aunt, I have an aunt in Phoenix, Arizona. She has 16 cats. That's a lot of litter boxes. I, next time I talk to her, I might bring this up. We'll just kind of see with that. So. And, and uh, <laughs> motorized litter boxes generally are not a good idea. A lot of cats can be frightened by those yeah. if, they, if they start to run after they leave. And one more plug here for Seymour. About Seymour. 10 weeks old, you said, yes. uh, neutered male. So neutered male. Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. Always good seeing you. So thanks so much good for coming on by. Good to be here.